Asante Sana Warden. Asante Sana does mean thank you, and we also like to say Twin Day here in Harambe, and Twin Day means let's go! Jamba, friends. William here, LRV Adventure. So we have ventured off to Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park. We are heading over to do well. We're heading to Africa. We are going to uh, actually take in the uh, safari, Kilimanjaro safaris. Then we are heading back to the trail, and I'll show you that in a moment. Um, a lot of guests never go back this way, just for the fact that uh, it is a walking trail but it is a uh, very educational trail also and uh, plenty to see and do. So if you take a look around me, it's pretty busy to be honest with you. This is a uh, Tuesday and of course there's a not so scary Halloween party going on at the Magic Kingdom this evening. So the other theme parks are always gonna be a little bit busier on those days because guests opt to come to the other parks, that's all. So we're heading to Kilimanjaro Safaris um, at this point in time. And then we're going to do a couple other things we've not done in a long time. Now we did do the uh, Kilimanjaro Safaris, but we uh, actually did a live stream on that. So, uh, wow, that's really loud. Uh, we will leave the link down for you below. And the great thing about our tour, it started off with a hide and seek game with the Okapi, uh, which is, of course, the long relative of the giraffe. But you didn't think I knew that.
so when we came to this section of course as you can see you've got the water and then you've got the uh, shore up there when we walked in did not have any idea that there was actual a hippo in there and I was just wiggling in her, her ears but uh you can see her over the side I'm gonna put the shot in here now but really really neat this is just a lot of things a lot of people just pass up because they don't know what's all back here really excited to see what else we've got in store for us as we go on around it is very warm though um, I'm wanting to take my drink my water and pour it over my head it's about 93 degrees but when you're in between all of this foliage and stuff it is um, it's like the humidity is a little steamier so uh, everything sticks to you but there's no hill for a climber right we can get past this check this out How you doing? Good, how are you? Doing well, thank you. Did you know that the seams are actually doing the same thing that we got in the animal table? No. Yeah, they are. The little seam was like what? It always works. Oh, God, that was good. Tell that to a little kid, though, okay? <laughs> that is hilarious. What's the little guys running around? Uh, meerkat, meerkats. like Simone from The Lion King. Got it. A group of meerkats is called a mob. Sadly, though, they don't break out into flash mobs and song and dance like Timon. <laughs> God, you're up. You all got them, don't you? I mean, we were hoping they would, so we gave names like Bruce Springsteen, Rob Thomas, Nirvana, Dirk Bentley. One day. One day. We're still waiting. There was one day I saw a little bit of a face up between the two of them and it looked like West Side Story. Oh dear. But yeah, how they get the nickname Mob is they can team up as a mob to take on larger prey or predator. Usually one on lookout, sometimes more if they see something. But well over 30 different calls, it usually comes down to is it going to eat us or can we eat it? Can we eat it? Mm -hmm. Got it. I'm not afraid of a lot, are No, I've seen videos of meerkats chasing up jackals. Teamwork makes the dream work. You see one, there's more. Okay, I like velociraptors. The next thing you know, you're surrounded. Gotcha. Oh, and look at that little meerkat. We're doing a potty right <laughs> so one of the other things you might have noticed is the meerkats up rubbing up against each other. For meerkat smell is important. Digging underground, if you can't see who's in front of you, but you stink like me, then you're family. Uh, so they get in big piles like that and rub up against each other and urinate on each other. Yeah. <laughs> Let's take it to a whole new level. Thanks for that one. I appreciate you. You can, use it. you can always use a dad joke. I am going to pass it out. Yep. You could all, and it goes with any conversation. You could just say, oh, hey, this is what I found. All that. See? That it work? What's your name? Ryan? Ryan. Thanks, Ryan. Have appreciate you. Day. You too. So Ryan gave me a great dad joke. <laughs> He's told me that, and you may have already heard it on here, but he told me that the zebras are the oldest animals that they have here. Uh, they're they're in black and white. Yeah, zebras, black, sharp, white. Yeah, um, great dad joke. Wow, the gorillas! <laughs> You're gonna love this. Take a look.
the bridge, and every time somebody walks across it, you can feel it move. He was saying that uh, AJ, the gorilla over here, the oldest one is 42 years old. Born in 1980. Unreal. You can't really see them. If they're sitting over by the grass, you cannot see them. And then all of a sudden, one moved. And uh, he's almost 500 pounds. And I couldn't see him. Not only is this educational, fun, um, there's many rangers, cast members, all the way around throughout the exhibit that uh, will answer questions for you and give you some really good tips uh, to help you understand exactly um, what everything's about. And that was a really good time. The Gorilla Falls Exposition, I don't, fun, exciting. Uh, plenty of animals to see and you can that took about 45 minutes of course I didn't feel the whole thing 45 minutes to an hour to go through it now if you're rushed for time I get it but if you're wanting to do something different at the animal kingdom uh, that is a uh, great option you never know what you're gonna see so uh, let's go see if we can get into something else come on So the cool thing is, as soon as I started this trek, the Komodo Dragon came out. He's right behind me. He actually started posing as soon as I came out. He came out from back in behind the rocks and just actually got right up on top of there and started kind of posing. Kind of cool, actually. Um, neat to me. So uh, onward we go. I do have... I do want to do Everest before I leave here, but uh, that may not happen. It's now going on 6, it's about 10 till. So I know the tigers are up here, so...
bats. Why did it have to be bats? Don't hear that every day. And that's how they spread the seeds. Um, where the tigers are. I see one way over in the corner. I don't know if I'll get him. Don't think so. It's right up there in that corner. I just can't zoom in on it. Anyway. He's over there. He's just really hard to see with the sun bouncing off this glass. So speaking with Caleb over there as we were looking at the uh, tigers uh, and there was only there was a male over there and from what she says is they're pretty much the major introverts of the animal kingdom they do not uh, basically mingle um, around other tigers they are pretty much loners and uh, that's why they have to keep them separated here but uh, that little guy was gorgeous. Kind of hard to see. It's, it's in the 90s. He's over in the corner in some shade and literally just uh, trying to uh, stay cool. So um, we got as much of him as we possibly could and moved on. But God, it is gorgeous back here. It really is. Just gorgeous. Expect to see Indiana Jones jump out at any second. Dr. Jones, Dr. Jones. Sorry. In my head, that sounded good. Like she told me we were heading this way uh, to the birds. Look at this, this is gorgeous.
think this is where the uh, big female cat usually is. And from the big paw prints on the ground, I am pretty sure. We just came out and come out, I guess you'd call it the bird um, house or the bird area, sanctuary. That was really neat. Now, I'm not really big on birds, okay, but those were beautiful. No matter which way I turned, I saw a new species I had never seen that was just gorgeous. Um, and they have um, maps in there for the different types of birds. There's over 300 types of birds. And it's an activity you can do with your children or just yourself. Get to uh, check out and mark all the birds that you have seen. And there were some families in there that were doing it. And uh, I heard the one say they had been in there for about uh, 45 minutes. Just for the fact that uh, it there's quite a bit of uh, um, birds in there. I think the uh, one cast member said over 300. So that is something kind of cool. Um, really neat to see these people are getting soaked check this out
cannot come to Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park and not have a good time. Um, and to be honest, it, it is my favorite park. Um, Epcot used to be my favorite park, but uh, Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park, I like it because it's just, um, it's tranquil for one thing. Um, there's always something new in, around corners that you've never experienced. and. It's not that the other parks don't always change and there's something neat, but just, um, I like the adventure here, I think is the best thing about it. For me, that is. Everything else just kind of follows in suit, but I really, truly enjoy um, what's to come because this park's alive, I think is the easiest way to put it, and it's always changing because it is alive. And uh, just look at it, it's gorgeous. And it is also thundering like crazy behind me, so I'm trying to uh, beat that storm. Hello there, this is Timbo. We hope you enjoyed the show. It was great having you with us. You were a lovely crew, the best audience ever. Now, please. Oh, the exit. Oh, what's it coming? Come on. Move it! We haven't got all that. We got another one of these babies. 